as Western Cape Matrix celebrated achieving the country's highest pass rate, the elation was palpable at Leiden Secondary School in Delft. With a phenomenal pass rate improvement from 42% in 2010 to an unprecedented 87% in 2011, pupils and teachers alike said they were over the moon. <laughs> Principal Heidel Mteto said there was no single secret behind their success. <laughs> well, for me, I think uh, it's a combination of many factors. Yeah. Firstly, you know, uh, the teamwork we worked very well, you know, with the teachers as well as with the learners. And we strengthened the relationship, you know, between, you know, the school and the community, more particularly the grade 12, you know, or, or parents. I'm going to study social media. So I want those who want to, to be there to, to pull up their socks. I want to try and help help them, tell them about our life. If you want to be something, you can be at the end of the day. And if you have pressure, you must like concentrate on that. Try to change the world. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yes, we need to. That's it. Many parents had resigned themselves to the poverty and crime in the area, which at times made the goal seem impossible. Most of our parents cannot afford to pay school fees. Greater percentage you know, rely on the support grant from the government. And also gangsterism is very rife in the area. Uh, it, is, it was very, very difficult for the learners to stay up until very late and start years in school because they are fearing for their life. But despite all those challenges, we managed to, be able to succeed. I jump even now. I couldn't be. I congratulated the principal. I said thank you very much because we didn't expect this. Education MEC Donald Grant said the school is a shining example of the progress being made in the province. If you look worldwide, there's always a correlation between the socio-economic status and performance. But we believe in the Western Cape that shouldn't be used as an excuse. I think it's been used as an excuse for far too long. The Western Cape now has its sights set on tackling the 30 remaining underperforming schools in 2012. Aleta Gardner, Eyewitness News, Cape Town.